Passion Travel is a channel specializing in all things travel street food and subscribe if you like the content. Jollof Rice. A flavorful and spiced rice dish cooked with tomatoes, onions, and other seasonings. Jollof Rice is a popular and delicious West African dish known for its vibrant color and rich flavors. It is a one-pot rice dish typically made with rice, tomatoes, onions, and a variety of spices. Jollof rice is a staple in several countries in the region, and each country and even different regions within those countries might have their own unique variations of the dish. The basic ingredients used in making jollof rice include rice. Long-grain parboiled rice is commonly used, though other types of rice can be used as well. Tomatoes. Fresh tomatoes or tomato paste are often used to give the dish its distinctive red color. Onions. Finely chopped onions are essential for adding flavor. Peppers. Scotch bonnet or habanero peppers are commonly used to add heat and spice to the dish. Spices. Common spices include garlic, ginger, thyme, bay leaves, and various other local spices that may vary by region. Stock or broth. Chicken, beef, or vegetable stock is used to cook the rice and infuse it with additional flavor. Oil. Vegetable oil or palm oil is used for frying the ingredients and enhancing the taste. Optional ingredients can include vegetables, e.g., carrots, peas, meat, e.g., chicken, beef, or fish, and sometimes seafood. The cooking process typically involves sautéing the onions, tomatoes, and spices in oil until they form a fragrant base. Then, the rice is added, along with the stock or broth, and left to simmer until the rice is cooked and absorbs all the flavors. The result is a flavorful and colorful rice dish that can be served as a main course or alongside other dishes. Jollof rice is often served at various celebrations, gatherings, and special occasions, and it holds significant cultural importance in many West African countries, such as Nigeria, Ghana, Senegal, Gambia, and others. It is also beloved by many people worldwide due to its delicious taste and cultural significance. Roasted plantains. Ripe plantains grilled or roasted until caramelized and tender. Roasted plantains are a delicious and popular dish in many tropical regions, especially in Latin America, the Caribbean, Africa, and parts of Asia. Plantains are a type of starchy fruit that closely resemble bananas but are larger and have a different flavor when ripe. To make roasted plantains, you'll need ripe plantains with yellow or black skin. The yellow ones are sweeter and less starchy, while the black ones are fully ripe and have a sweeter taste with a softer texture. Here's a simple recipe for making roasted plantains. Ingredients. Ripe plantains, yellow or black skin. Cooking oil, vegetable oil, coconut oil, or any oil with a high smoke point. Instructions. Preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. 200 degrees Celsius, or use a grill if you prefer to cook them outdoors. Wash the plantains and then peel them by making a shallow cut along the length of the fruit and gently removing the skin. You can also cut off the ends before peeling. Slice the peeled plantains into diagonal or straight pieces, about one inch thick. The shape is up to your preference. Toss the plantain slices in a bowl with a little oil, making sure each piece is coated evenly. This helps to prevent sticking and adds some extra flavor. Place the plantains in a single layer on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper or a lightly oiled surface. Roast the plantains in the preheated oven for about 15 to 20 minutes, flipping them halfway through. The roasting time may vary depending on the ripeness of the plantains and your desired level of caramelization. You want them to turn golden brown and slightly crispy on the edges. Once roasted, remove the plantains from the oven and let them cool slightly before serving. Roasted plantains can be served as a delicious side dish or snack. They are naturally sweet and have a delightful combination of soft and caramelized textures. They complement many savory dishes, such as rice and beans, grilled meats, or can be enjoyed on their own. Additionally, you can sprinkle a pinch of salt or cinnamon on top to enhance their flavors. Roasted corn. Corn on the cob grilled or roasted with butter and spices. Roasted corn, also known as grilled corn or street corn, is a popular and flavorful dish enjoyed in many cultures around the world. It is especially popular during the summer months and at outdoor events like barbecues, fairs, and festivals. To make roasted corn, you'll need fresh corn on the cob with the husks intact. Here's a simple recipe for making delicious roasted corn. Ingredients. Fresh corn on the cob, with husks butter or olive oil, salt and pepper, optional, lime or lemon wedges, optional, 
chili powder or other seasonings, optional. Instructions. Start by preparing the corn by removing any loose or damaged outer husks, but leave the inner husks intact. This will help retain moisture during roasting. Soak the corn in cold water for about 10 to 15 minutes. This step is crucial as it helps prevent the husks from burning and ensures the corn steams while roasting. Preheat your grill to medium-high heat, or you can use a stovetop grill pan if you don't have an outdoor grill. Remove the corn from the water and shake off any excess moisture. You can also gently pull back the husks and remove the silk, corn hair, if you wish. Brush the corn with melted butter or olive oil, and season with salt and pepper if desired. You can also get creative and use different seasonings like chili powder, paprika, or garlic powder to add more flavor. Fold the husks back over the corn to cover it and create a makeshift husk envelope. Place the corn on the preheated grill and cook for about 15 to 20 minutes, turning occasionally to ensure even roasting. The husks will char and become slightly blackened, and the corn kernels will become tender and caramelized. Once the corn is fully roasted, remove it from the grill and let it cool for a moment. You can serve it as is, or you can pull back the husks and tie them together with a piece of husk or kitchen twine to create a handle for easier eating. If desired, serve the roasted corn with lime or lemon wedges on the side, allowing people to squeeze some citrus juice over the corn for added tanginess. Roasted corn is a delightful treat that captures the natural sweetness of the corn while imparting a smoky, slightly charred flavor from the grilling process. It's a versatile dish that pairs well with a variety of main courses and can be enjoyed as a side dish or even as a snack on its own. Grilled fish. Fresh fish seasoned and grilled over an open flame. Grilled fish is a healthy, delicious, and popular dish enjoyed in many cuisines around the world. Grilling fish imparts a smoky flavor and creates a slightly charred exterior while keeping the fish moist and tender on the inside. It's a great way to showcase the natural flavors of the fish while adding a touch of seasoning. Here's a basic recipe for grilled fish. Ingredients. Fresh fish fillets or whole fish. Popular choices include salmon, trout, snapper, tilapia, or sea bass. Olive oil or vegetable oil. Lemon juice. Salt and pepper. Fresh herbs, such as thyme, rosemary, or dill, or dried herbs, such as oregano or paprika. Optional. Instructions. Preheat your grill to medium-high heat. If using a charcoal grill, wait until the coals are hot and covered with white ash. Rinse the fish fillets or whole fish under cold water and pat them dry with paper towels. Brush the fish with olive oil or vegetable oil on both sides. The oil will help prevent sticking and add a nice sheen to the fish. Squeeze some fresh lemon juice over the fish to add a refreshing tangy flavor. You can also add lemon slices to the grill if you prefer. Season the fish with salt and pepper, and any other herbs or spices you like. Be mindful not to overpower the natural taste of the fish. Place the fish on the grill and cook for a few minutes on each side, depending on the thickness of the fillets or the size of the whole fish. For fillets, around 3 to 4 minutes per side should be enough. For whole fish, the cooking time will vary based on the size and type of fish, but it usually takes around 10 to 15 minutes per side. You can test if the fish is done by gently inserting a fork into the thickest part of the fish. The flesh should easily flake apart when fully cooked. Once the fish is cooked, remove it from the grill and let it rest for a minute before serving. Grilled fish can be served with a variety of sides, such as grilled vegetables, salads, or rice. It's a light and nutritious dish that is perfect for a summer barbecue, but you can enjoy it year-round with your favorite fish varieties. Additionally, you can experiment with different marinades or glazes to add even more flavor to your grilled fish. Popcorn. Classic popcorn, a simple and popular street snack. Popcorn is a popular and tasty snack made from dried corn kernels that puff up when heated. It is a fun and versatile treat enjoyed by people of all ages at the movies, parties, and while watching television at home. Popcorn can be flavored in various ways, making it a delicious and customizable snack. Here's how to make stovetop popcorn, which is a classic and straightforward method. Ingredients. Popcorn kernels. Cooking oil, vegetable oil, canola oil, or coconut oil. Salt or other seasonings, optional. Instructions. Place a large, heavy-bottomed pot or saucepan on the stove over medium-high heat. Add enough cooking oil to the pot to coat the bottom evenly. The amount of oil should be just enough to cover the bottom of the pot, but not too much to prevent popcorn from sticking. 
Add a few popcorn kernels to the pot and cover it with a lid. Once you hear the test kernels pop, it indicates that the oil is hot enough. At this point, remove the test kernels with a spoon. Add the rest of the popcorn kernels to the pot in an even layer, and cover it with the lid again. Gently shake the pot occasionally to prevent the kernels from burning and to ensure even heating. As the heat increases, the popcorn will start popping. You'll hear the familiar popping sounds and see the lid slightly lifting due to the expansion of the popcorn. Continue shaking the pot gently until the popping sound slows down significantly, indicating that most of the kernels have popped. Turn off the heat and let the popcorn sit for a minute to allow any late popping kernels to finish. Carefully remove the lid, being cautious of any hot steam, and transfer the popcorn to a large bowl. If desired, season the popcorn with salt or any other favorite seasonings like melted butter, grated cheese, chili powder, or nutritional yeast. You can get creative and experiment with different flavors to suit your taste. Stovetop popcorn is a quick and enjoyable snack that can be tailored to your preferences. It's a healthier alternative to prepackaged microwave popcorn, as you have control over the ingredients and can avoid added preservatives and excessive salt or butter. Enjoy your homemade popcorn while it's fresh and warm for the best taste and texture.